quickly take a look at this question on stoichiometry. The question says, in the reaction, iron oxide plus carbon monoxide producing iron and CO2. Question now says, how many moles of carbon monoxide, that's CO, are needed to produce 35.0 moles of iron? How many moles of CO are needed to produce 35.0 moles of iron? Remember in the previous videos, I showed you how to solve calculation problems on stoichiometry. There are four steps to follow and your answer comes out. Step one says, balance the equation given to you. And looking at the equation, you can see that the equation is already balanced. On the left, I have two ions. On the right, I have two ions. On the left, I have three carbons. On the right, I have three carbons. On the left, I have three plus three oxygen, which is six oxygens. On the right, I have three times two, which is six oxygen. So the equation is already balanced. Now we have to skip step one. Now we go to step two. Step two says, bring out two substances from the balanced equation. What are the two substances you are bringing out? The first one to be brought out is the one you are calculating for, the one you are looking for. And from our equation, we are told to find the number of moles of CO that will be required to produce 35.0 moles of iron. That means you are looking for CO, so I'll bring it out. Make sure you bring it out with the number that balanced the equation. So I'll bring out 3CO. The next one to be brought out is the one whose value is given to you in the question. And from the question, they gave us 35 moles of iron. So I'll bring out iron, which is this. Bring it out with the number that balanced the equation, 2FE. So I have these two. They are the two I'm going to use. Why? Because CO is the one I'm calculating for, the one I'm looking for. Why iron is the one whose value was given. That's the one you use and find it. So I'll run them out. That's the two. Now step three says, find out the quantity relationship between those two substances you brought out from the equation. These are the two substances I brought out. Let's find out the quantity relationship between them. Now, Remember, when you are finding the quantity relationship, you ask yourself, this one you are looking for, in what unit are you looking for it? Is it in mole or in mass? That is, is it mole or gram or volume? Because it's either you are looking for it in mole or in grams or in volume. From the question, we are looking for it in mole because they say, how many moles? So since we are looking for it in mole, we are not going to change the elements into number. Remember in the previous video I told you, the only time you will change the elements into number is when you are working with mass, that is grams. But here we are working with mole, so we are not going to change the elements into number. And when you are not changing the elements into number, you are using only the coefficient here, only the number here. I will say 3 moles of CO produced the iron, in what unit was iron given to us? It was given in mole as well. Assuming it was given in mass, I will change it to number. It will become two times the atomic mass of iron. But it is in mole, so I'm not changing to number. I'll take only the number here. For mole, take only the number here. But for mass or gram, take the number here and multiply with the atomic mass of that thing. So it's in mole, I'll take only two here. Two moles of iron. Now, this is the quantity relationship between them. 3 moles of CO produce 2 moles of iron. Now, after doing step 1 step, 2 step 3, you now go back and answer the question. Don't rush into the question. Do your step 1, step 2 and step 3 before you can now answer the question. Step 1 is balance the equation given to you. Step 2 is bring out two substances from the balanced equation. And step 3 is find out quantity relationship between them. That is from your balanced equation. 3 moles of this give 2 moles of this. Now, step four is answer the question. What did the question say? The question is saying, how many moles of CO will be required to produce 35 moles of iron? Now, from the balanced equation, we can see that three moles of CO 
produce two moles of iron? Cannot answer. Therefore, 35.0 moles. 35.0 moles of iron, that is here, 35.0 moles for iron, will produce how many of these? I don't know, I'll call it X. Now, I cannot find my X by saying 3 over X is equal to 2 over 35. So if I make X of it a formula to become cross multiplication, 3 times 35.0 divided by the coefficient of X, which is 2. If I do that, my answer will give me 52.5 moles of CO. And that is our answer. I hope you find this educating. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, drop your comments into the comment box. And please don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so. Thank you.